Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy RxGZ. Um, I am here to talk to you, like just to walk through actually making sure you have your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller set up the proper way on your PC, especially if you're wanting to play games like Deathloop or Metro Exodus Enhanced that actually utilize the, uh, the cool new features of it. Um, I posted a video just the other day of uh, me checking it out for the first time and having my, my tiny mind absolutely blown, and it was very cool. But I've gotten a lot of questions already about people who haven't haven't quite gotten it to set up right or basically are right on the cusp of having it set up right and are just that one little step, you know, from getting everything working all the way. So let me switch over my screens to uh, my desktop view and we will get a uh, get a little walkthrough going. All right. So as you can see, we've got Steam pulled up here and Deathloop, obviously. PS5 DualSense controller. Um, now, first thing you want to do is you need to right-click Deathloop, go to Properties. You're going to go over here to Controller and make sure that in the override for Deathloop you have it Disable Steam Input. Now, if you have Steam Input actually still going, you, uh, the game will recognize the DualSense controller. All the icons on screen will be correct. And, but you, all you'll get is the like you know enhanced rumble stuff that they did for like the Xbox Series controllers as well. So you'll have like a fraction of that, but you won't have the adaptive triggers. You won't have the full haptic feedback. So you want to disable the Steam input. Now the next thing is a lot of people once they've disabled that Steam input, they you know then all of a sudden you know over Bluetooth the controller won't register in the game because that you actually do. In fact, and I think this is true for Metro Exodus Enhanced 2, you do need to have it plugged in. Um, yeah, and since, Sony, you didn't include a goddamn cable, I'm using my Microsoft Xbox uh, Elite 2 USB-C cable thing just because. All right, and so once you've got that going, turn on, or, yeah, there we go. Turn on our controller. It'll get all booted up and logged in. And Steam will still, you can see down here in the corner, Steam still recognizes it as my PS5 controller. And so just because we've set it, you know, disabled it for these specific games, it will only work for this. We also have it set up this way for Metro Exodus Enhanced, doing the same thing. Just the, where is it? We'll go over your properties, controller, disable Steam input. But like, you know, it, it recognizes that we've got the PlayStation controller through Steam. We don't want to use the Steam stuff, though, because it doesn't actually utilize all this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and launch Deathloop here real quick. And I'm actually going to unplug it and turn it on over Bluetooth. And say, yep, and it should hook up thinking that it's over Bluetooth. And you'll see that once, you know, when we still have it unplugged and we start up the game... It's not going to recognize the controller at all because we've disabled Steam input. Steam's recognizing it over the Bluetooth, but the game itself does not. But yeah, you'll see, pressing buttons, absolutely nothing. The controller, as we saw, was connected, but it's not going to work until we just take our USB-C cable, plug it in, and once it registers, save, there we go. And once you have it plugged in and start the game, I mean, just just feel the haptic feedbacks when you go over these, you know, individual things right here, because it almost feels like springy in the actual controller. The haptics on this thing are actually very, very cool. This game is absolutely awesome, by the way. I highly recommend it. even if you're just thinking about it and you what don't want to do the whole dual sense controller do all the cool, you know, spend all the money on it and everything. You should still check this game out. It's very, very fun. You don't want that. You're looking for so yeah, I'm right as we... Out of this place. Don't rush it. You used I don't know if that's my cable or what. But yeah, dual, dual sense triggers are working. As you can see, let me get a little bit closer to the camera. There's that crisp little break. This is under tension. Always. And there's just that little bit of slack on it. Let's switch this other gun here. Yeah, so basically, yeah, guys, if you're wanting to get this all set up for working in Steam or on the the PC version of Deathloop, 
Uh, definitely just make sure that you've got your controller plugged in. You can figure out why this cable's freaking out. This doesn't normally do this. Um, but yeah, just make sure that your controller is actually plugged in. You've disabled the uh, the Steam compatibility stuff, and then you should be all good to go. So hopefully this helped. Um, if you liked the video, please like it. If you got any more questions or want me to check anything else out, uh, please just let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, hopefully I will see you guys again here soon.